Chi Minh City is home to many contemporary art centers, including the San Art, the Zia Project, the Zero Station, or the Saigon Outcast. But there is a brand new creative hub for local art lovers. It is called the Factory Contemporary Art Centers, located in a 1,000 square meter area of Tao Dien in District 2, Ho Chi Minh City. So what do they have in here? Well, let's follow me and explore the so-called biggest contemporary art center in Ho Chi Minh City. The Factory Contemporary Art Center was opened in April 2016. It aims to bring artists and art lovers together through the shared language of art. The concept incorporates an educational art library, a workshop, co-working space, art and craft classes, and most significantly, an exhibition space. So the Factory Contemporary Art Center has opened its very first exhibition named Technophobe and today we are very lucky to have here Ms. Bao who will show us what is special about this exhibition. The Technophobe is the first exhibition in Saigon that using technology mm -hmm. to create art instead of uh, the traditional material. And uh, I would like to introduce you first, uh, the main artist is um, Udam Deng Nguyen. He created this app called Lesson to Draw. So okay. Lesson to Draw is an is. app. Yeah that you can download on App Store or Google Play Store. Okay. So you download it in your device like this. Like what you have here. Yes. And then from this, you can start. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, it's moving. Oh. You can start controlling the robot and the robot will carry the colors. So when, it's, when it moves, then it start drawing. Yeah, and anytime, anywhere in the Not world. Not just here. Not just here. Oh. Whether you are in Yokohama, Tokyo, New York, Paris. <laughs> You can always accept. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. So you can actually draw some painting without touching it. Without touching it. What is special about this corner? Okay, uh, this corner is artworks of Chuk An. He oh. is a Vietnamese, half Vietnamese, half French artist. Oh who've been living in Vietnam for about five years. Mm. He's a painter. Mm. So this is his first time using 3D printing technology to create this. The Quantic Family Collection by Chuk Anh is a visually enticing installation. The two walls are covered with images of faces and masks from all over the globe, cut up and mixed together to make strange new near faces. The 3D printed masks made from acrylic render server of the faces from the wall in physical form. For example, uh, this, this girl, mm -hmm. her name is Catherine. Hello, Catherine. <laughs> yes. So Catherine is, is made from, you see the Y, the Y part? Yeah. It's made from this painting. And the, the, the teeth and the, the details inside is from the, the determinator. And she's, she's beautiful. She's printed out like perfectly. You can see all, it's yeah, go very it's, detailed. It has the te texture and... Amazing. Yeah, it's amazing, right? So yeah. we don't have to use hand to do mm -hmm. it anymore since we have a machine who does sculpture. Yeah. So the question is, where is the position of the artist mm -hmm. when machines can do that part? The newest and largest contemporary art space in Ho Chi Minh City, The Factory, has highlighted Ho Chi Minh City-based contemporary artists. It offers a rare peek at the new and future art forms in local art scene. Over here is a small-scale wooden arena containing sand, which is scanned continuously by what appears to be some kind of radar. After my peaceful time observing the so-called Zen Garden, I have a chance to interact with a projected hologram video of artist Ngoc No through the Kinect 3D scanned image. The artist, in the traditional Vietnamese clothes of the goddess of mountains and forest, is dancing to a juxtaposition of tradition and contemporary music. 
meet Gao Huang Long, he's now retouching his artwork, The Infinite in the Finite. Long said whenever he looked at the reflection of the moon on the well water, it was like discovering a whole new universe at the bottom of its depths. Mình muốn nói về cái vô hạn ở trong cái hữu hạn tức là cái giếng thì nó là một cái vật thể nó là hữu hạn. Còn cái trí tưởng tượng hay là cái cảm xúc của mình thì nó là vô hạn và mình muốn cho người xem có được cái cảm xúc đấy khi mà đối diện với cả cái tác phẩm của mình. So this is the last piece wow. in the series of artworks of Udam exhibit this time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's also a... Take No Folk. Yeah, it's yeah. also in Take No Folk, but this is a special edition called mm -hmm. Laser Shooting Room. Laser. Yeah, wow. laser, using laser shooting. Mm -hmm. So we have like three different targets and we have three laser guns. So oh. using the axe, yes, you can shoot the target. When you see the red dot, go on the target. You shoot it and the blue dots are going to burn the paper. Oh, it's yeah. burn the paper. Using electricity, you burn the holes on the paper. Oh. It's another way to create, you know, art for him. Mm. According to the artist, NASA is asking artists to send in images of their work, which will be then sent to the stars. You never know, perhaps artwork created from laser shooting here might be favored by an alien collector. Contemporary art sometimes seems a little bit weird to the public who does not feel the art. However, it has become an important part of the global art scene and many artists have become famous. So if you want to learn more about Vietnam's contemporary art or just simply want to find an inspiring space to work and to socialize, you surely should not miss this.